All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick one here. Um, on my way to Illinois, uh, kind of had camera issues. I didn't know how to adjust something, stuff like that. Finally got that taken care of. Made a big batch of chili and uh, heading down here after. Uh, uh, he's the biggest buck I got on camera right now. Um, I know there's some other big ones gonna be moving in down here. Um, it's gonna kill me to be done if I do end up having to get happen to get him tonight. But uh, he's a he's a heck of a deer. So he'll be coming out into a little micro plot that I that I got planted right below this tree stand. It's in between two cornfields on a fence line. So it's just a it's a great spot. They feel safe back in there, and it's it's his spot. I mean, he's he's in there pretty much every single night. Um, and one of the only bucks in this little plot every single night. The rest of them are down in the big plot. But um, yeah, this little pot, plot, I knew it, I knew it'd be good. Didn't know what it would be good for. But uh, this big one really, really likes to hang out in there. Um, he cruises back and forth through it and around it and, and stuff like that. And just eats it. It's uh, it's kind of a mix of everything. I got some bucket ready, uh, some ripping radishes in there, and and some kale and some uh, forage turnips and stuff like that and then i overseeded the whole thing with uh with cereal rye so just driving in down here right now i'm kind of running a tad bit late it's about three minutes to four so but i got the electric bike so i'll be able to fly down there and make some time pretty quick getting down into the stand and and uh then i'll check in once i get everything set up in the tree get down in here and uh see what happens you do? You splattered mud all over my tactic can. When I did what? You threw the... Rock? Rock down. Into that dry hole? In that hole. <sighs> You'll thank me one day. Yeah. It's deep. It's a big ass hole. If there's a hole, Mike will try to fill it. I filled it. <sighs> Congratulations, this is your first time. Yesterday would have been the fourth daylight. He's a hundred, mid one hundred and sixty inch deer. And he's a five, he's gotta be a five and a half. Right? I think.
say it because I'm on audio but the amount of time effort and money that Mr. Hackett here has put into these food plots is is unsurpassed hey guy you killed him I think we just got it done. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Holy f serious. <laughs> yes. It <laughs> was awesome. Are you guys serious? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Holy crap. I talked to Matt. I talked to you today. Oh. And you guys went out and just yeah, did it. Try that. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm freaking out and I'm not even the hunter, man. Oh. Holy smokes. Yeah. Send, send pictures, dude. Yeah. It, shot was kind of a little bit back. We're thinking liver. I don't know. I wanted oh my god! I wanted to stay off that shoulder, but yeah, I, was, I just, when you were full draw, I was just gonna tell you he's quartering to you a little bit. Yep. But you gotta watch that shoulder. So yeah, yeah, we we've only been in here half hour. Basically, uh, <laughs> we were just shooting the shit, and I just happened to look up, and I'm like, ah, it's him. He's standing right there, 25 yards. You guys, it, I, Sam, on real, dude. I, I, I'm like speechless. Cherry just got popped on the new phase four. Oh yeah, now you don't have to listen to anybody give you any more grief. Right. Yeah. Yep. Oh, gosh. And you and you use that new dialed site. I or use you, the new dialed site. Well, if you guys are gonna wait until tomorrow to go in after them, I'll come down there in the morning. But if I am, not, I'll take I'll take off of work. But if, if you're if you're gonna go after him tonight, then do there's, it. Like, there's, you guys let me know. I am. It's Mike's. It's Mike's deer. But I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now. If it was mine, I'm not going after him tonight. Right. I mean, the only bad part about it is if we leave him lay overnight and he is dead, there will be nothing left of him in the morning. All right. So we're gonna go over and check the arrow quick. Um, it's starting to rain a little bit, so I just want to see what the arrow looks like. Uh, 
before it gets washed away at all. I mean, not that it's going to rain hard, but just want to get over there and take a look at it and kind of see uh, what the next step is going to be as far as uh, recovering this thing. This is it. We planted bucket ready in here and overseeded the whole thing that I got uh, 500 pounds of winter rye from Scott at Bucket Ready and I put 100 pounds down in this little not even a third acre plot here so but this deer absolutely loved it Looks gutty. Yeah. Smell it. Hey, don't look. There's some dark red, but it looks gutty. Whether it went through lungs and exiting gut, it would have been. I'll be frank with you, I'd be real, real surprised. Real surprised if it was lungs. No, it's definitely not lungs. Liver. Not lungs. This is very tracked right here. Should the exit hole be hardly nothing? This is where he went, right there. Yeah. I'll just, we'll just check on my green stuff before he went through. Yeah, literally, but I... This is probably the trail I came on to. Here's his track. That's the same thing. That's where he went. He went, this is where he went here, right? That's probably the trail he came out on. I'm sure. Yeah, we are definitely not going after this deer tonight, I don't think. No way. I have to leave him. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, my hand was... It's it's pure gut matter. Yeah. We have, we just, I'm going to tell you right now. We, Here's where he turned to hit that trail. We simply can't go in there. No. No, we are not going in. So that's what's going on. It's one of those nights, isn't it? It's not good. I mean, he's gonna die. I mean, hands down, he's gonna die, but we're just damn sure not gonna push him. He's not gonna go, he's not gonna leave this stuff. I mean, this stuff is thick, nasty, stuff like that. So we're gonna get out of here and uh, we can see some, but hopefully this rain holds off. I mean, he definitely wasn't picking the side of that tree at all. See why it was hard to see us. Oh. Well, I know one thing for sure. Sleep over at Mike's house. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you don't go far in there and it'll be lame. I don't think we'll have to go far. We didn't we didn't bump them at all. So you know That's as thick as that out. stuff is, it's gonna oh, look at you. It's gonna drag on everything. Hey. <laughs> He's good looking. I know. He's fast too. You should have seen him after that cat. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all it's all wheel drive. A lot of boys. Oh I love him. I love <laughs> hunting voices. <laughs> Who was that that used to hunt on the, with the donkeys and had the... Art Gilmore and them. Yeah, yeah. Who was the guy that was uh, Stapleman. Ready? Good damn right I am. 
I wish I'd have, <laughs> I wish I'd have had him when I shot that 170 back here in the. Oh yeah. Alrighty. Yep. I'm gonna set the world on fire here. Set go. Yeah. You got blood? Yep. We are on the track. He's bleeding. Uh, went about 75, 80 yards right now. Dog's pulling it pretty, pretty decent, so. Uh, he just told us to hold up because it seemed like the dog was winding something. So we're going to sit here and wait for the call to move forward. That is Dozer. How old is he? I just turned two. He'd probably be better off. It's his dog, his dad's dog. Yeah, he just turned two. Um, pulls like right three. here is where I found it last, Mike. He's, uh, when he's on it, he's pulling, and then uh, he'll catch a scent. He'll put his head up in the air, kind of scent check a little bit. Make a big loop and he'll sometimes cut the blood trail in half just by scent checking the air. So when we put his head up, we typically stop a little bit, let him run. That's good. He fed it down twice within. Ten yards. Oh yeah, three. Got them all. Got him. I you, could smell him. You could smell him. Oh, good job. Unbelievable. I mean, here he is. Coyotes got him before we did, but the the dog did a great job this morning. Uh, he kept wanting to come here, and we just didn't think he was going to come back into where he. Uh, where he came out of. So I think the coyotes kind of got on him last night, pushed him out of the corn. Well, pushed him out of his original bed over here, pushed him out of the corn, and then just chased him up into this corner. So uh, this is where he, where he ended up. I don't think we're gonna be able to get much meat out of it, but. Coyotes got about like that. Coyotes got him about, uh, about done in. So um, this wasn't my number one, but he turned into my number one after, uh, after Lucky bro broke his brow tying off, so. We're, uh, we're awful happy to have this one, this one for the team, so. Yeah. He's definitely. Uh, 100, 100, 100, what, 140 yards yeah. probably from where you shot him. Yeah, he didn't he made, make it far. He made, made a circle. Uh, and 100, 180 degree loop, so. And, and he was doing it the whole time before the coyotes bumped him, but it's incredible. I actually found him, let a lot of help. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's got. <laughs> it can't even close it. it. That's can't the heaviest. I'm gonna say this. This is the heaviest deer I have ever seen in my life. Yeah. I, I can't get my hand around it, and that's no bullshit. Yeah, this is the first no. deer with the uh, with the new phase four bow. I called up. We called up Dialed and got uh, got a sh uh, sight shipped down to us right away. And I was actually sighting it in uh, the morning of the first hunt I was gonna make down here. Uh, only sat four nights and and. Uh, it happened last night, I guess, at five o'clock. <laughs>